Once you know where the roller coaster is going, are you in for the ride? The first appearance of a roller coaster was in Parc Bijon, Paris on July 8, 1817. No doubt roller coasters have risen in complexity over time, but how have roller coasters demonstrated the concept of increasing complexity since their inception? Since the first one in Paris, roller coasters have gotten larger and more thrilling. Technological advancements in engineering have been integrated into different tracks to allow roller coasters to be more dynamic and complex. Over the years, roller coasters can be divided into three thresholds, life on earth, collective learning, and the modern revolution. As for life on earth, roller coasters help provide the resources and innovations to create a sense of association. Humans have become a part of collective learning, and in modern time, there has been an increase in both technology and engineering innovations. By reviewing every type of roller coaster, humans have improved in the department of design development when compared to the time when these resources weren't yet available. Roller coasters supported the fact that it assisted in improving the engagement in the society. The history of roller coaster technology can be divided into five thresholds. Threshold 1. Conception. The Goldilocks conditions include the general population's boredom without a safe outlet to express their feelings, and the need to feel sensations accompanied by their fight or flight reflexes without the danger. Threshold 2. The spread of roller coasters. The Goldilocks conditions involved with Threshold 2 are an outside influence that introduces the earliest concept of roller coasters, namely ice slides, and engineers with safety regulations on the earliest roller coasters. Threshold 3. The Golden Age of Roller Coasters. Goldilocks conditions include the exponential growth in roller coaster popularity and the insatiable demand for more. Threshold 4. Decline in innovation. The Goldilocks conditions are a crash in the nationwide economy, in this case the Great Depression, overworked citizens, and the decline in the urge to feel sensations caused by their fight or flight in reflexes. Threshold 5. The Steel Revolution. Goldilocks conditions of the steel revolution involve the end of the crash in the nation's economy, exponential rates of employment, and people's excitement for roller coasters. The resulting new complexity benefited many for its access to entertainment and its usefulness to society. Back then, roller coasters consisted of the wooden tracks. Now they're made of more rigid and sturdier materials, such as metals and fiberglass. The cart in the past were also driven by gravity and momentum, normally going down steep hills. Now, due to the exciting thing called modern day electricity, roller coasters don't have to. There are a couple of different methods for supplying the cart with enough energy to make it to the end of the track. Nowadays, the most notable methods include the chain lift, which gets the cart to the top of the hill, and the catapult launch lift which supplies the cart with kinetic energy using electromagnets. Noted as the finest roller coaster of its time, the cyclone hurled riders into the scary and thrilling experience. Roller coaster enthusiast John Miller had co-developed the cyclone and was known as the Thomas Edison of roller coasters. Important innovations he turned out around, around this period were the safety ratchet and the under friction wheel. By attaching a safety ratchet to the track, the roller coaster was prevented from rolling backwards regardless if the pillow chain snaps. The under friction wheels prevented components of the roller coaster from detaching and running off the track too. Both innovations are fundamental to the modern roller coasters and are required for roller coasters to an amusement park. Regarding important innovations in roller coaster design and construction, nearly every roller coaster has integrated the safety ratchet and the under friction wheel due to multiple security measures that require these innovations. Some designs that best realize said innovations include the Silver Bullet and Ghost Rider, both located in Knott's Berry Farm, California. Throughout the 55 miles per hour ride, roller coaster enthusiasts ride the Silver Bullet with caution in mind. With two corkscrews, overbanked curves, and a loop as high as 105 feet, riders will find themselves upside down six times before leaving the attraction. On such a high speed ride, Silver Bullet carts attach to under friction wheels to stay on the track while maintaining increasing velocities. Similarly, guests on the Ghost Rider are thrown into a 56 mile per hour thrill ride by climbing the tallest hill in the west coast of California. If the pull chain broke while climbing the hill, 
The safety ratchet embedded in each Ghost Rider cart would force the cart to stay in place until help arrives. Some amusement parks already started using AR, but the way they incorporate it into their design is very costly. The next innovation will incorporate AR with either projectors or specially designed glasses for the passengers to wear. This would be the next new scenic railway. A roller coaster that incorporated painted tunnels into its ride, which became popular and liked the scenic railroad, would ultimately create a better ride experience. With future innovations hovering over the horizon, roller coaster technology is on the brink of a revolution as innovators learn from past mistakes and turn out new innovations. Regardless of what the future may hold, we'll always be in for the ride. <laughs>